Welcome back, my babies, to EPT Prague, live from day five of the main event from King's Casino at the Hilton Prague in the capital of the Czech Republic. Joe Stapleton, Nick Walsh, Griffin Benger, the final nine players. This is what we came to see. Payouts as follows. 10th place has already been awarded. Every single spot you ladder means more money. Everyone here eligible to win up to 608,000 euros. Of course, two in Mulder is going to get the million 33. <laughs> You know, I was half expecting uh, Mulder to be lifting the trophy when we got back in picture. Yeah. Here, so. If I were these kids, I may say, hey, let's work out some kind of deal. Two and we'll give you 1,033,540. Everyone else can chop up the rest. <laughs> We are doing official chip counts right now, down on the floor. All very solid paydays for a nearly record-breaking Prog main event. There are your final nine players. A lot of letters on that screen. We've got players from Bulgaria, Italy. Greece, Netherlands, South Korea, Poland, and Austria. A real European and worldwide affair. Lovny, the player from Poland. Going to kick things off here. Remember, we're nine-handed now. So it's going to change things a little bit about opening ranges, calling ranges pre-flop. Jacks, always a hand you can open from any position. Pocket tens for Danchev. Brutal start here uh, on this final table for Danchev. 20 big blinds, pocket tens. It is a relatively early position raise, so you you know you might want to be a bit cautious. But with 20 bigs, a lot of the times you kind of just have to ship this in. Let's see how Danchev does it. Dan ship for Danchev. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Griff? It's just a little bit too strong. Oh. And pocket nines for Cardalazzi is already folded. Yeah, it's going to be pretty easy. Pretty stoked when these cards get turned over. Alexandritis, who was a major force in this tournament until it became all about two and gets out of the way with a suited ace. How much for them? Oh, this was not an all-in yet. Excuse me, just a three-bet to a million for Danchev. Yeah, leaving himself about 585k behind, so it's an effective all-in. Yeah, I think uh, Glovny's going to come to the conclusion that this is too strong to fold. Glovny all-in. Danchev makes the call. We are going to run it here. The tournament life of a former EPT champion on the line, former PCA champion, Demeter Danchev, the last remaining champ in the field, actually, after we lost Hossein Ensan in 14th place today. He's gonna need a spike, a two-outer, a heart flush. Somehow, just a 10 high straight. A jack right in the window. All right. A jack and an eight. <laughs> like a glove knee. <laughs> Hungry fella? <laughs> Dan Chev now needs... How about running tens? Oh, oh my goodness. No way. This, this would be probably one of the most ridiculous runouts of all time in EPT history if he finds another 10. There's only one left in the deck. One out. Danchev eliminated. Oops. Not the first thing on his mind right now, I don't think, to, uh, to fist bump the player. 
to his right. Jack, Jack. Obviously, yeah. semi disappointed. Demeter Danchev, PCA champion. They can never take that away. At least not until the next PCA. 76,000 euros. Mulder with a suited king. He wants to open this pot, and I really dig it. I'm here for it. Gets ace nine to fold there, which is pretty mahusive. Six seven suited in the hijack. Probably a little bit too wide from that position. King eight suited going in the bin as well. Yeah, and this is the benefit of you know having this big stack. So many players kind of have to play a bit honestly with you, and they're going to fold out those medium strong hands in those early position spots. Mm -hmm. And Reza even going to feel good about, you know, ace two suited against Mulder's range. But how do you play it here? You're, what, second or third in chips? You know, in the big blind, it's an easy peel. But small blind, you don't really want to play it as a raise. Yep, you don't want to get in trouble as a call and, and, and makes, you know, tight fold. But uh, can't blame him. How about the ace queen here, though, Griff? I'm, I'm kind of feeling feeling the flat, to be honest. I mean, this yeah. is the this is a final table dynamic, right? You don't want to be nah, going. You don't want to. No. You don't want to build pots Fine. against this early position open and and, and put yourself yeah. in ugly spots. You and you stay so too. so 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 underrepped. You know, you can have your opponent just blast off on ace queen high type boards and sure. think you know oh, might have to right here. Oh. Saw the five in the window. Usually that's enough for Mulder. Not this time. Alexandridis top pair top kicker. Have we talked about how cool some of the names are on this final table? We have not. Alexandritis. Pretty like, good. That's pretty good. <laughs> One seventy five, the continuation bet from Mulder. Got the ace of diamonds in your hand. Is there a lot to be afraid of? Any reason to try to protect this, right? Just a flat call seems reasonable to me. I like the flat a lot. I mean, specifically also because of what Griff was saying about them blasting off. Uh, I mean, this is kind of exactly the board you're looking for. And um, I don't see any reason to elevate, really, at this point. Do not escalate. Do not elevate. Alexandritis once again checking it to the aggressor. Yeah, I think Mulder knows that it's a spot where he could put in a second barrel. And as Griff was saying, Alexandritis is so underrepped here. I don't know. I feel like, okay, well, it looks like you were right about that, Nick. I'm going <laughs> to stop disagreeing with you as soon as I see Mulder reaching for chips. I kind of feel like yeah, that, you, that Jack is going to improve a lot of the hands that uh, Alex Andritis may have called with. Yeah, but, you know, it's he's got blockers to the nut straight. A blocker. <laughs> All right, hold on a second now. Yeah, and look, if your opponent has sense. something like Jack... Yeah, it makes if your opponent has that, something like Jack-10 here, Queen-10, you know, it's so tough to call him a big over bet. That's representing, you know, a quarter of your stack when you're one of these mid mid stacks. So that's really, I think, what Mulder is trying to do. Mm -hmm. But ace queen too strong, too high up in the range. I mean, it makes perfect sense that a guy named Mulder would believe in something that isn't real. Blockers. <laughs> this is a fairly spicy, <laughs> uh, fairly sorry, bricky. Excuse me, river. <laughs> the opposite of spicy. Mild. It's a very mild river. Alexandritis shifting in his seat a little bit. And does Mulder pull the trigger just over pot sized? Yeah. Left. Yeah, when he sizes his bet like that on the turn, he gives himself the opportunity to uh, to put him to the test for all of his chips on the river, right? Puts it within just above SPR1. 
In any but other, it's, it's tough. It's tough to pull the trigger here because your your opponent does have he something. He does move like, all in. Um, what? You were talking about the other guy pulling the trigger. Absolutely. Whoa. Oh. I guess it wasn't an all in. Sorry, I might have heard that wrong. A million is what I heard. Excuse me. This is an unusual oh, wow. line griff. And with the king in your hand, you know, you are scared, of course, of something like 10 8 that would, you know, call a small bet on the flop. King 10 can still be out there just because you have one of the four kings. He's gonna do it. He wants to look at that dealer and say the magic words. Oh. <laughs> A little Trophy. trepidation. If Mulder actually pulls the trigger here, I I just don't even know what to say. Mulder contributing time bank cards. 4 the thinking in this hand. I mean, Mulder might sniff out that this is, in a way, kind of like a blocker bet, really. It does feel blocker, even though it was for, you know, more than a... Yeah, a big, very large blocker bet. Yeah. Oh, my God, what if he does What it? can I get my opponent to fold, Mulder thinks? What if he does it? If Alexandra Tridis... Alexandritis is doing this with a hand like ace queen. We'll probably fold it. If he's doing it with queen jack, will he fold it? Only one way to find out, and let's Mulder it go. does not call, does not shove, kicks the two cards in. Alexandritis, by the way, just $164,000 in live earnings, but was the chip leader for the entire day on the other table. And in any other event, uh, probably would have been the overall Thank chip you. leader if the chips were more evenly distributed. Oh my goodness. Bring out the stretcher. Love me with the potential to get seriously maimed here. what poker does sometimes you're just cruising along doing everything right and bang cooler And here comes the four bat from Cordelazzi. Now it's gut check time. Now, a, a warm four what's bat. What's amazing about this, yeah, is that Cordelazzi is really balancing the limp range. Um, this was actually a limp by Cordelazzi to 80,000 and then the raise oh. to, to 285. So this is kind of why me. you can, if you do limp in these hands like Ace X, presumably suited like last hand. You can mix in these big ones, obviously, but the alarm bells will glow off in Glovny's head. I think if Glovny had something like tens or, yeah, you know, uh, Ace Jack certainly, Ace Queen even would maybe find a fold against this limp raise. But Queen's probably too good for thirty bigs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I I would go so far as to even maybe even say Jacks as well. I think. It just looks so strong. The limp re-raise. I did not know Cordelazzi was 65 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's hiding it well. Very youthful appearance here, despite the limp re-raise with Kings. Oh, 
this is so sick. You're at the final table of the EPT and you're looking at a limp race. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Uh, and, you know, you flatting is a pretty bad option, though, right? Like, you can't yeah, do that you, either. You flat and then doesn't, I mean, you can have. You can't set enough. mine with queens. There's the all in. Yeah, call. Cordelazzi makes the call on your feet. What was the penalty we were bringing in here? I don't know. I think this is different. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This isn't the I'm going to lose stand. This I'm is the joking. I need to <laughs> have a full view of what's happening yeah, here stand up. Absolutely. Cordelazzi, the player at risk. Lovney way behind. Whoa. <laughs> the flop. Oh. King, oh. nine, jack, all diamonds. So, opportunities, <laughs> only 4%. <laughs> but do exist with a flush on board. Neither player holds a diamond. A set of kings what? for Portalazzi. Glovny does have straight outs. Three outs now instead of two. Seven of diamond. I was just thinking about the always coming seven diamond. <laughs> Turn card is the seven of clubs. The seven, it is always coming. <laughs> it's still always coming, just not diamond. Glovny needs a 10, needs a straight. No straight. Barry Greenstein appears oh. and disappears just like Glovny's 2.7 million in chips. Double up for Cordelazzi. Glovny, ace queen. Ace queen dot co. Kanakchev with nines. Yeah, and just uh, nine big blinds here. So we're going to see a big flip with eight left here on the final oh, table. Nine of spades, nine of hearts, nine big blinds, all in. Kim well, with queens maybe not in a the big small blind. blind. Oh, my days. Spoke too soon. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Fewer than 20 big blinds for Kim. Unbelievable. Also all in. What a spot for Kim. Oh man, this is just another setup. Cordelazzi, Jack 10 suited, gonna be a pass. Kim of Queens. <laughs> Kim of Queens. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well done, you, <laughs> you beautiful SOB. <laughs> How about Korean barbecues? <laughs> also good. Love me with just one over to the Queens and one out to buddy. hit a queen yeah, to beat the nines uh. lets the ace queen go <laughs> all right well this time the player at risk is the player behind well, one time he says kim finished ninth in this event before finishing eighth on a bad beat would be awfully brutal Kim using Whoa. his one time here. This is a big pot. This is. Oh, no. You can't call for your one time when you're ahead. The equity here. Kim does have Canucks GF covered. Stop being so dramatic, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be eliminated here. But would be very oh, short. That's right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Is that about one lady? Yeah. You're of course, strong. it's Canuck Chef is at risk. Thank you, Griffin. <laughs> you saw. <laughs> no, I, I, I love correcting you, Joe. So no, 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 I got look. That's, I shouldn't have got that wrong. <laughs> A couple oh, people in the chat calling close, for the stars. Close. Nuts. I just got done saying the player at risk is the one who's far behind. No clubs for Konakchiev. Going to need the Niner. Did I catch a Niner in there? Konakchiev the is hoping. So, Ooh. upside down nine. No more chop opportunities. <clears throat> Two outs, one shot, one opportunity. This is everything you ever wanted. <laughs> yes. yes no one, no nine mint. and no Good more Kanakchev. Could not hit the two outer. Eliminated in eighth place. $98,750, and that does officially mean everyone else is in to the six-figure scores. Turn Mulder, first to act. He's been the chip leader all day. <laughs> Opens with Jack. Oh, a big hand. 200K from under the gun. Ace, deuce of diamonds, and Kamenita passes pretty quickly and now it's Gluvny looking interested oh no not another broken card ace of clubs and something another good one Glovny, the victim of a pretty gross cooler during the last level against the pocket kings of Cordelazzi. Glovny at Queens. It's certainly an interesting card to be revealed, the Ace of Clubs. It actually maybe gives more options for what would be a, you know, sort of three bet fold as well as those, you know, the only hands are really three bet calling off here for 25 bigs are the aces and ace kings, even ace queen, you're not thrilled about it. You probably find maybe a flat here. So could certainly be a three bet bluff, or we could see a massive all in. Even something like ace jack of clubs, you might be not thrilled about. I don't really yeah. want to call this off. Mulder oh, shoves and Glovny calls all in and clearly has the goods. The other A. Yeah, looks like aces from here. And this is a great spot for yeah, Glovny right to break. double up through the chip leader. Yeah. That, that other ace doesn't look broken to me, guys. I mean, we it will, looks we pretty damn out. good. I'll tell you after the run out. <laughs> 25 you play, right? Yeah. I mean, if there's a suck out here, we're done, right? That is true. 86% chance, though, that Glovny gets the double up, and we play on. 14% I mean, chance I get to go out to dinner. The flop ha! is ace high. Running cards needed hey. for Mulder. Could be, for the dead. Could be drawing dead on the turn. And is. So that will be a double up for Glovny. We play on, and Mulder still has the chip lead, right? With 7.5 million? It's damn close. Barely. Yeah, three players now around between seven and seven and a half million. <clears throat> It almost makes you feel bad for how much of a big deal we made about how good he was running. Mulder's first to act here. Jack 10 offsuit. And he makes it 200k. Kamenita's out. 
Ooh, ace queen of strawberries for Glovney. And again, just flat with a big hand. Yeah, just doesn't really trust Mulder preflop and the preflop in the sense of, you know, not to do something big. We've seen Mulder on this yeah. table, four bet fold. So Glovney's comfortable to just flat, be under wrapped, let Mulder stay in with worse hands. And I, I, you know, I can't, I can't fault the strategy when you think about the ICM implications of the two stacks that have between two and three million. Jack seven oh. seven. So top pair for Mulder, but because it is always coming seven trips for Alexandridis. This is so it's sick. These two stacks. The hearts too for Glovney. Wow. Continuing into a pot of 750,000 for 150,000, betting small. Not only is this hand sick with the, the connection that everyone's made, yeah. the stacks that are involved, all three of these players have been really impressive today. Ace, Queen of Hearts, not flush draw. That is a call. And now, what do you do with trips in this spot? Check raise, Griffin. I mean, that would be the sort of standard play, but, you know, there's some big chips going around here, too, so. I mean, the big blind's going to have all, all of the sevens here, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can't automatically think, okay, there was a, a bet and a call, and now I can sort of try to scoop up some of this dead money. There's a real distinct possibility that Alexandritis is just going to play this straightforward and just have a seven. Just calls. So still three way. No. Not yet. Got good to act as well. You hate that the board is paired here um, when you're Glovny. I, I think. The check raise from the big blind is very credible, but could also be like worse hearts. It's very difficult for you to be drawing dead. You're really only up against boats when it's Mulder has pocket jacks. So the pot is getting bigger here, but you're you're not too concerned about um, you know going broke. <laughs> oh, man. But I'll tell you what, Mulder definitely feels like he's in trouble at this point. <laughs> Absolutely, someone's gonna have the nut flush draw. And a check here from Alex Andritis because you're scared now of those potential pocket jacks, pocket aces. Don't want to get too greedy here. Seems weird for Mulder to put more chips in, too. Does this ever check around? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the most likely scenario here, unless... Mulder wants to just, with that jack in the hand, represent pocket jacks. <laughs> Recognizing that Alexandritis probably has a seven, that Glowney's going to have a hand like what he has. Surely Mulder knows, cannot ever have the best hand here. Plays another time bank card and then checks. Let's check around. Okay, show us the river. It's another ace. So oh, Glovney oh, oh, oh. had the flush draw, but actually goes runner runner to make a better full house than Alexandridis, who's got sevens full of aces rather than aces full of sevens. And it has position, is gonna get to bet this. Mulder, run away. Time for that horse to bolt. 
I mean, it's a pretty exciting run out, but I think this is just going to go bet full full, right? Yeah. Ace on the river, which has changed everything in this hand. I think it's important for Glovny not to get too greedy here, simply because... You know, you're, you're targeting that seven. If you bet something, you know, north of 1.5 million, I think that Alex Andritis can find a big fold. Yeah. But maybe if you just fire out something like 900K, get Alex Andritis to get a little curious for the 40%. You know, there is the argument that you want to kind of stay balanced with your bluffs and maybe make it big, but I don't know. I was thinking maybe like 700, 750, just go a third. Yeah, why not? But then again, it really does look like the nut flush draw. <laughs> you know, no matter what you bet, I think. Yeah. Your only bluffs are really king, queen of hearts, you know, king, ten of hearts, maybe nine, ten of hearts. But would you really fire 700K to try to get a seven to fold? Wow, seven. look at Joe. Hundo. Joseph Stapleton. Can somebody clip that? Can you guys clip that? That won't happen again. <laughs> The temptation. Nine things right. Perhaps there. too great for Alex Andritis. <laughs> Einstein. It feels so bad to fold this. But what are you beating? What I think would your the, opponent do here? The time bank cards kind of help you from make. Oh, you do make the frustration call. House over house. And Glovny is going to win a pot of 3.7 million, moving up over the 7 million mark. Mulder with a little crink of the neck there. I think maybe regretting calling that check raise. You feel like you're just, if you bet the so small there and get check raise, you need to call, but. I think with Glovny's range behind there, calling on the flop, being pretty strong, maybe it's best to just let it go for that 525. Glovny now second on the leaderboard behind Kortolazzi. Mulder's dropped down to third place. Kamenita now low man at the table with 2.1 million. Rezai with ace 10 under the gun plus one. User Zing. It's open to 250,000. A better ace. Ace Jack for Simeon Alexandritis. Gabion Kim's got queens in the big blind. Griffin? The Kim of Queens does it again. <laughs> he is all in. Question, does he get called by either of the other two players? I guess Rezai has to fold, but what about Alex and Dridis? Snap calls. So Kim at risk, but he is ahead. I, th I think I know what he's saying. <laughs> Sweet translation. <laughs> the Kim crowd calling for a queen. Griffin's joke was uh, the Kim of Queens. Mine's Korean barbecues. <laughs> yeah, I prefer Griffin's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mine, mine was pretty top flight, let's be honest. Okay, I'll get <laughs> Letting him know he folded a queen. Bad form. Strawberries are good. 12 to 12.
I'm just going to say, guys, don't call for cards when you're ahead. It's kind of a thing. She just wants to win. <laughs> yeah, let her win. Three for the chop. Give us a song. Oh, no, but it's a three of hearts. Not that three. Uh, yeah, it is a three, but it's a three of hearts. So it's the queen height flush for Gabion Kim, and he is going to double up. At least Alexandritis gets to go, oh, I was straight over flush. Told you, everybody since we got the seven handed has had their moment. Just no bueno. Action folds around to Kim with Queens again. Come on. <laughs> Is what the Kevin James of the EPT in the world, the Kim of Queens. Give me one step, okay? You have time, man. Yeah. You have time, man. Uh, time bank. Time bank. Time bank. Mm -hmm. This is incredible that he's got queens again. And Alexandridis has blocked a piece here. How costly a piece. Medium cost piece. Really don't like this bet. I gotta be honest. Um, it's just too small. You're, you, you know, you're, you're unblocking all the pairs on the board. You're gonna get so many calls here from eights and tens and seven nine and you know jack nine. Let's 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 bet half pot here and get action. N naked spades. Four is not a harmful card at all. Let's beef up the pot here. Seven hundred. Seven. One bet. Seven hundred. Alexandrios calling a second time after this bet of 700k from Kim. This pot's getting huge. Told you those dreams in confidence, Joe. River three. <laughs> Alexandrios checks again. I mean, oh, how rare Kim, is this that you just can lift. slam dunk value bet three streets? And that's why I would have liked to have seen bigger on the flop. The pot would have been even juicier. But at this stage, it makes not much of a difference. Snap call with a half a million bet. Alexandra, I just can't believe it's Queens again. Neither can we. And Kim, who was the shortest stack of the final table, continues to chip up. He's now got how much? I mean, there was... More than three million in that pot, six million. That's good for what, second, third? Fifty-one bigs. Blind and again, blind. a blind v blind. Yeah, sorry, James, but it's just this is a big theme here at this table between these two very talented players. Seen some very interesting hands. Mulders had a mixed strategy between raising and limping. It was often raising when three, he six, had six. more chips three, than his six. opponent. And goes back to that here with the 3x.
You're not supposed to fold this, are you, Griffin? Uh, yeah, it's tricky. I mean, you probably should call. But it's not easy to play. Um, you know, you're sub-30 big blinds. You're playing against a very, very good player. You're really going to have to pop off that king to feel comfortable. And there you go. I will say the saving grace for Mulder might be just flopping so, so poorly. Not even a heart on the board. You know, back door to the bottom straight. If it were to come jack 10, expecting your opponent to be on base pretty often, having called this three bet. A lot of queen X's and king, a lot of king X's. Maybe something like jack 9, jack 10 will continue. So. And a tricky check back mm. by Kamenita. I really like this. Uh-oh. Mulder catches a piece. Pairs is nine on the turn, but only has 14% equity. Yeah, really bad card for Mulder, effectively. Because now you're going to be relatively comfortable getting a little bit of chips in there, probably in the form of a check call. But instead, decides to get betting. Wants to set the price. We've seen a lot of this from Mulder over the course of the day. Not trying to bet out a worse hand, but trying to get a little value from those Jack X, 10 X type hands that might call. And really set the price against a king or a queen if Kemenita checked that back, which he did. Two hundred and forty thousand each. The river card is a deuce. So close to a three, but not close enough. Kamenita has a lock on this. And now no real reason for Mulder to bet. It would be way too thin to try to get value from like a seven. You really just got to play this as a check fold or a check call. If you really think your opponent is bluffing with those 10 or Jack X's. And those miss clubs, miss spades, and there's the check. Well, you gotta bet something here, right? Oh yeah, you are. You're thrilled. You couldn't wait for this situation. Doesn't get too greedy, which I really like. Doesn't particularly look bluffy, but it'll get Mulder Gets to it. call. Gets it. Oh, wow. And another big pot for Kamenita. Another huge loss for Turn Mulder. And look who is now the shortest stack at this seven-handed final table. The one-time overwhelming chip leader is slowly edging towards the danger zone. Danger zone! 3.35 million. Action folded to Turn Mulder. He's got queens in the cutoff. He's got Kim's hand. Raises to 250. 10 4 for Kamenita. That goes in the muck. Spirit of the horse. Let's go. Gab Young Kim with oh. Ace King. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, for the sickest and classicest of all races. 3.25. 3.25. 3.25. 5. Get set for an all-in. And it's an all-in that two and Mulder, one time, monster chip leader, will need to win. The favorite, at least. All-in, and a call, on their backs, let's run the board. If Kim gets there, if Kim hits his ace or king, Tun Mulder will be eliminated in seventh place. Wow. Like ace king versus queens, one of these two hands has a slight mathematical advantage. Ace, 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 ace. ace king Kim. favorite. Is that, is that true? Is it because of the cards folded, folded cards, Griffin? Wow, awesome. Yeah, I saw the queen folded. And 
Team Kim calling for the ace. Hard to believe it's come down to this for Mulder after such an impressive display. Building that chip stack just hasn't got his way since. King high flop. And now Mulder is drawing thin. Wow. He's drawing to one out. Only the Queen of Diamonds is live. I do not feel great about this. And it is against the Kim of Queens, though. He does attract queens. Down to 3%. Needs to see the case queen on the river. Or turn Mulder is eliminated and we are done for the day. Just white in the face. Yes. The river card is not the queen of diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Turn Mulder yes. exits in seventh place. Okay. Nobody. Nobody expected this at the okay. start of the day. Nobody expected this at the start of the final table. Yes. He will have to make do with a six-figure score. 138,570 euros was at one point eyeing the first prize of more than a million. That will be awarded tomorrow to one of the final six players remaining. As we stop the clock, we bag and tag, and the final six will come back tomorrow to play down to a winner. So we did not get to the end of the level. We did lose a player. We are down to six, and these are the six players who return tomorrow. Gab Yong Kim, the chip leader. Andrea Cortolazzi, second in chips. The other Italian, Dimitro Caminita, middle of the pack, along with Jegorz Glovny. The shortest stacks, Alexandridis and Rezai, are 38 and 31 big blinds, respectively. So plenty of play in this, and it's anyone's game. So we'll pick up the action with the blinds at 61.20 when we restart the action tomorrow. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. From Griffin Benger, Nick Walsh, Joe Stapleton, and me, James Hartigan. For now, it is good night from Prague.